Hey there everyone, Faish here, back again with another video and uh, welcome to the series on React Native. We are running an entire series on this channel where I'm teaching you how to build apps with React Native absolutely from scratch to the increasing level of complexity of these apps. And for this entire video series, our sponsor is Hashnode, which is an amazing platform to write articles, share your knowledge with your fellow programming friends. So there's a lot that happens at Hashnode and definitely we'll keep on talking more about them as we process in the video. So, in this video, I'll just demonstrate to you what app we are going to build next and what we are going to learn in this one. Now, so far, we have handled how to handle the haptic feedback, the images and a lot of things. Now, it's time that we go ahead and move uh, something really near to the production grade apps. And all of the production grade app, almost all of them use Flatlist. Now, Flatlist is pretty interesting and impressive concept and there's so much talk that can happen around it. And in this app, we are going to learn about them. So I'll first give you an initial preview look and in this video that what we are about to build. So that it gives you a head chance that you can try to build this app on your own. Also, join our Discord community in the, uh, in the description section and try to share what we are building. People are sharing amazing things that we are building in the UI segment, in the app segment and a lot more. So try to join that community and uh, definitely people are helping out each other a lot. So this is the basic app that we are going to build. It has a dollar, euro, pound and we are not calling any API for that. The API segment will come up later on in this course but right now we are just going for a hard coded values. But we will learn in this uh, particular app that how we can build just one component and can use the same component by passing different uh, data to it or data or props to it. This is exactly how we will be doing it and we will be using a flat list for doing so. Also, we have this input segment as well where people can actually enter their data. So for example, 22 or 2 to 2 and how much is it going to cost me in the dollars? So I can just click on dollars to find out how much is it in dollars. The in input number is in rupees and I can find it out on Australian dollars or euro or pound uh, or in the Bitcoin, which is almost to zero. <laughs> it is nothing for the comparison of zero. Uh, we can try to find it out for yen and definitely you can add more uh, data to it if you want to add more currencies. Uh, we just want to have a proof of concept that how this is flat list, how it works, uh, how we can have this kind of a layout using Flexbox and whatnot. So this is going to be basic of how things are going to be there in the few upcoming videos. We have to learn a lot and give it a try if you are following the series from the very start or uh, very beginning. Uh, it will definitely give you a lot of confidence if you try a little bit ahead of me and obviously I'll make videos to actually show you how we build this app and that's going to be our sixth app in the project. So far we have come along and we'll definitely go more. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.